Welcome to the official Autodesk Inventor Podcast. My name is Garen Gardner. I'm an Inventor Product Manager, and this is episode number 36. So it's been a little while since we've had an episode out, and I apologize for that. But um, this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the drawing environment. There are a handful of things that, uh, that I've had questions about over the last couple of months, and I get a lot of questions. You do a lot around parts and assemblies, but um, would like to know a little bit more in drawings. So I've collected a handful of things that I get questions around. Hopefully it'll be beneficial to you. So you'll notice that I'm using one of our inventor sample files. This is a little RC engine and I've created a drawing here and we'll go through a handful of things with it. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the selection tools. And the selection tools are much the same in part assemblies and drawings. But you'll notice that I have different types of filters. And of course they're different in the drawing environment. But I do have things like a part priority. And this allows me to do things like select a part and it may be like this muffler I want to turn it off in this particular view so I, I can see it everywhere else but I don't necessarily want to see it in this view so you'll notice that I can come in and turn the visibility of that entire part off so instead of creating a view rep or something else an LOD rep I just come in turn it off for that view you'll notice that it's on the other views so it makes it very easy for me to just turn certain things off and get a good view of this particular um, this model so that's one thing. Um, also by doing that there are a couple of other nice things that I can do with it. Let's take a look at selecting this part. I may want to, let's zoom in a little bit to, uh, to this area. We'll notice that we have our connecting rod here and, um, and our piston. And let's say this connecting rod we want to be able to see all the hidden lines for that particular part but not the entire view. So we want to see those dashed lines on those back edges. So you'll notice that I can select the part, tell it to turn on hidden lines, We'll let it go off and calculate and it'll get the hidden lines in there. So this is a really quick and easy way to turn the hidden lines on just for a given part. Now also another, another little tip is um, you'll notice for things like this piston it's not sectioning like the rest of the components are. And the reason for that if I open up that part you'll notice if I go to the tools tab that it has in the, the modeling tab here I went into document settings that it's not checked for sectioning and by default in most of your templates this is probably checked when you create a new part but you may at certain on certain parts you may not want it to section when you section through a view and that the originator of this part unchecked that but what we want to do in this particular view is we want to be able to see it sectioned now one of the things that people do that if they're aware of this option that they get a little bit um, uh, flustered with is I can come in and tell it that we want to uh, not section it or we want to section it but it doesn't do anything. If I come in what I need to do is go to the view that it was created from and actually tell it to do a section of that particular view. So we'll give it a second to do all the hidden line removal of that particular view. We'll notice that um, in a second it'll actually do the hatching in here. We'll be able to see that and then when we drop down to that isometric view we'll see the uh, the hidden lines or the the section through it, so it's a, a nice way to override different components. And you may want to do you you you'll probably at some uh, one time or another want to turn that sectioning on or off per part. This just allows you to override it for a given view. So it's a, a real nice way to be able to manage that. All right, so we've done some of the selection capabilities, hiding parts. Uh, hidden line removal. Now another one that we have is in a, a view like this it may be that we want to shade it and I'm just going to come in and tell it we want to shade this particular view and this is something that uh, in the past we uh, we would do basically shade it based on what it looked like at the part level and for performance reasons we tr we made the ability that you could come in and actually specify that you want to you want to tell it what type of DPI that you want it to overlay a bitmap image on. So what this does is it really, uh, if you have a large assembly, it'll actually reduce the footprint 
and uh, reduce the, the amount of memory that you're going to use for this particular design. So let's zoom in a little bit and you'll notice it's pretty coarse and I have an option in that in that setting that I can use something like 50 dpi clear up to 300 dpi and you'll notice that it's going to make those edges look cleaner and cleaner. However, if I zoom in pretty close, you'll notice that I still have some some pretty pretty rough edges. So that was up to the 200 dpi. The 300 dpi will look a little bit better as well. But in this case, I'm going to tell it that we want to use regular edge mode. So you'll notice that regardless of how how zo how zoomed in I zoom, it's always giving me a nice smooth edge. So I would play around with this if you if you're working with really large assemblies and you have some performance problems, particularly in the drawings. Uh, this is one of those areas that uh, that I would play around with. Otherwise, if you if you don't really suffer with that in your your drawing environment, you may want to leave it at um, only only when the components are offline. So then the final thing that we're going to talk about is the sectioning capabilities. So when I create a section for the first time or if I have a section I just right click and edit the section properties. You'll notice that I have an option here instead of a full depth I can do a distance. What this allows me to do, you notice when I do a distance it gives me this thick black line. If I do something like an inch it'll show me what the, the distance is there and it's going to keep everything in between the section line and that edge and get rid of everything else. So if I do something like 0.5 or 0.25, probably better off, it's going to section and give me just a small portion. So it's kind of a clipping plane. It's keeping everything in between those two edges. And you'll notice that it's going to do it for both the, the section view here and the isometric view. So if I come in here and zoom in a little bit, you can see that it's just showing a particular section of that. And if I look over here, it's going to be a little bit cleaned up so it doesn't have all the extra edges. There are some cases where uh, you may want to really simplify that view. And I could do it clear down to you know a real thin like 0.01 or 0.001 just to make that even narrower and give me just a, a real thin line. You'll notice that even doing that will clean it up a little bit more. So these are just a handful of real quick little tools that I get questions on in the drawing environment. Um, I certainly have some others around uh, dimensioning styles and things like that. So if you're still wanting some, some additional drawing uh, tips and tricks, let me know if there are certain things you want to know. But um, with that, hopefully you enjoyed episode number 36. And until next time, 